Now that there are two COVID vaccine candidates that look promising, it's time to look ahead to the rollout. Distribution could start in December, but Connecticut's Vaccine Advisory Board has a lot of challenges to overcome, and a lot's been reported on how those supplies will initially be limited. But again, there will still be challenges to overcome, even when we get to the point that there's enough doses for everyone. And so it is our job to make sure that we have dotted our I's and crossed our T's and, and looking at the work that was done to get to this approval step. Dr. Reggie Eady from the Governor's Vaccine Advisory Group said, aside from the logistical hurdles of distribution, the group is also tasked with overcoming perception problems, convincing the general public that Operation Warp Speed isn't just rushing a vaccine before it's ready. You yeah. know, when you look at things like the flu vaccine, I mean, it took years to, to develop um, the thumbs up or to get approval from a safety and efficacy perspective. Um, th this Operation Warp Speed is going to try to do the same thing in a short period of time. And so that creates anxiety. That, that creates a degree of uncertainty around the safety and the efficacy. Dr. Eady said the group's science subcommittee will review the safety and effectiveness. The second subcommittee is the science subcommittee. These are experts in this field who will take a look at the FDA approval process and to sort of give a thumbs up, not to usurp or replace the FDA, but just give a thumbs up to the citizens of Connecticut that in fact, this process was followed as it should have been from a scientific perspective. And the communication subcommittee will work to lessen the degree of vaccine hesitancy that exists. It's now look, it, this is not gonna be easy work. You've got Depending upon the community, you've got degrees of insecurity security that exist, and we're going to have to be smart enough to interact with the community, understand what their insecurities are, and to be able to relieve as many of them as possible. And to that end, Dr. Reedy said the group's meetings will be all public and as transparent as possible.